Hi everyone, Jay here at OpenText and in today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how to restore files and folders in OpenText Core, whether another collaborator on a project deleted a file by mistake, or you deleted a file that you shared with someone that you didn't think they needed it anymore, but they actually did. Let's go ahead and show you how in the vast, vast majority of cases, files and folders can be easily restored using the activity feed or the trash bin. So let's go ahead and walk through a couple scenarios. So first things first, I've logged in here and I want you to focus on this partner materials folder that I've shared with a variety of people. Let's just go through some basics right now. Important to note, right at the top here, I can tell who I've shared this with and at what level. So I've shared with Wendy Kite, we're going to be focusing on her as a viewer at the parent folder level of the hierarchy. You can go through and see the various permissions and what they can do with files. But let's just focus on that for the time being. You'll notice also down here, again with the inherited permissions model of core, that I've shared a couple of different files and folders with Wendy as a manager. So she can do a bunch of different things. But right now, in our first scenario, I want you to focus on this beautiful image of Jackson Square New Orleans at night. And what I'm going to do is show you that I can, as the owner of that file, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. It's going to give me a prompt to confirm that deletion. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you'll notice that the file is no longer in my files list. In the meantime, let's head on over to Wendy's OpenText Core files list and see what's going on. You'll notice the partner materials folder here. She's going to go in and she requires that Jackson Square image for a marketing promotion she's working on and it is not there any longer. So what happened to the file that Wendy needs? She can go ahead and head on over to the activity feed, a real handy way to get a snapshot of everything that's going on in Wendy's files list in core. And you'll see here, she noted that jWeird deleted that file, but there's no option to do anything with that file. So she's going to go ahead and send a comment or an email to Jay, myself, to see what happened to the file and explain that she needs it. So after receiving Wendy's note, I have a couple of options to restore that file if I so choose so that Wendy can use it for her project. I can go to my activity feed and you'll remember from moments ago that Wendy did not have any options down in this record in the activity feed however I do so I could go ahead and restore that file from the activity feed if I so choose which is what I'm going to go ahead and do in this case and then we'll walk you through the trash bin shortly but it'll come back up and say that the file is restored let's go ahead and confirm that on Wendy's side here we are back at Wendy's files list in OpenText Core I'll go ahead and open the partner materials folder and there's that image that Wendy requires restored by myself via the activity feed. Let's go through one more scenario here. Important to note, let's just go ahead and click on this to show you. Wendy as a viewer permissions level cannot delete this file. Only managers can delete files. So Wendy in this case is a manager as we showed previously of the file. She's allowed to delete files. Wendy doesn't think that the partner job description is important anymore, so she's going to go ahead and delete that file. Confirm that delete. For whatever reason, she just doesn't want that file anymore. So maybe Wendy realizes it, that she deleted the file in error. She can head back over to her activity feed here real quick. And there's the record card there that shows that she deleted the file. She can either go ahead and restore it if she realized that she deleted it in error or on Jay's side, I can go into my activity feed if I decided to do that to see what's going on with my account and see that she deleted the file and restore it there. But something, another way I want to show you real quick is something called the trash bin. This is a really handy way of tracking everything that's been deleted. It's temporarily stored for about 90 days in OpenText Core. I can actually see that Wendy deleted the file, partner manager job description, and I can select that. 
Now, important to note, if I click delete here, I'll get a prompt. It's going to permanently delete that file. About the only way that a file is truly lost in OpenText Core, so long as you keep track of things. I can restore it from here as well. So I'm going to go ahead, use that method, and restore the file. And then the last step I'm going to show you is going back to Wendy's account and showing you that it's restored. And there's the file back in Wendy's files list in the partner materials folder. And I'll go ahead and show you the activity feed as well to show that the file was restored. So in my core activity feed for Wendy, I show that jWare restored that file. So important to note, there's two varieties or two methods for restoring files, activity feed and trash bin if you own the file. So about as easy as it gets with the open text core to restore files that might have been deleted in error or by mistake by a collaborator or even yourself if someone requests access to that shared file. If you want to learn more, there's always more videos on the YouTube channel here. And you can also visit us on the web at core.opentext.com. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you down the line.